Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lulu and today I'll be showing you guys how I made over my entire closet for under $200. If you guys would like to see how I transformed my closet into a functional and more aesthetically pleasing space all on a budget, then keep on watching. Today I'm gonna be making over my husband and I's walk-in master closet. My main goals are to make this closet a lot more organized and functional, and of course aesthetically pleasing. So my goal for the top shelf is to remove everything besides the black metal bins. As you can see here, my makeup vanity sticks out into the doorway. I cannot tell you guys the amount of times that I've hit my hip on this trying to get into the closet. So my plan is to just take it out altogether. I'm also not a fan of how busy the right side of our closet looks. I really want to work on designating areas for different categories. For example, my belts are just hanging there and I want to have an area dedicated to accessories. This section is currently dedicated to my dresses. My plan for these is to actually move them into our guest room closet since I'm not reaching for these on an everyday basis and to give this area the more simple and cleaner look that I'm going for. I also have a plan for these shoes that I'll show you later on in the video. Here are all of our hanging clothes. I think switching out our hangers will make our closet look like Pinterest goals. I do have a cube storage that I want to use for underwear, socks, PJs, anything like that. And you see that red bag? That's where I'm currently keeping my jewelry, so I definitely need a jewelry station. On this side of my closet, my plan is to move all of our accessories to hang on the door and then have the mirror mounted onto the wall. So now that you guys have a rough idea of what my plan is, let's get into making over this closet. First step is taking everything out. So here are all the items that I purchased for this makeover. I obviously wanted to keep this makeover very affordable, so I shopped at Ross and Target. As you can see, I bought a lot of items with natural textures. I really thought that they would help brighten up the space, but still keep it very cozy. Everything here ended up costing me about $220, but I didn't end up using one of the boxes of hangers that I bought, so it turned out to be under $200. So next, I'm going to be applying this peel and stick removable wallpaper that I got from Target. I will say that if you are on a strict budget, this step is definitely not necessary, but I would be lying if I said that it wasn't worth it. I absolutely love the way this turned out. I ended up spending the most money on wallpaper and hangers, so keep that in mind when you're doing your makeover. biggest advice to you when putting up this wallpaper is just go for it. Nobody's gonna notice those tiny imperfections. Just do your best to try and line it up and I'm sure when you step back it's gonna look awesome. Normally I would recommend using some sort of squeegee or even just a gift card to help smooth out the bubbles but I did get really lucky with this specific wallpaper because it is textured and the wall that I'm putting it on is also textured so I only had to use my hands. I also think that since this is a brick pattern, the texture actually adds to it and makes it look even better. Putting everything back in 
the closet. Here are the new hangers that I bought from Target. They're velvet non-slip hangers and I got them in black. I do have to mention that the 100 count was definitely a better deal than the 30 count, so just keep that in mind if you want to purchase these specific ones. Also, shout out to my husband for helping me rehang all of our clothes. So the way I organized our hanging clothes was by putting everything by sleeve length first, so shortest to longest, and then by color. And as you can see from my clothes, it's pretty easy to organize considering I wear black and black the occasional pop of red. So here I'm just building this storage ottoman and this is actually my solution for our shoes. My husband and I actually keep our everyday shoes in our downstairs entryway closet. So for the shoes that are in here, since they're worn so rarely, I wanted to keep them tucked away. So that's why I got this storage ottoman to put them in. I just simplified these baskets by putting our bathing suits in here and some shorts and sweatpants for my husband. I found this jewelry organizer in the craft section at Ross and it was only a few dollars and I think it's totally worth it for me because now I can see all of the jewelry that I have and I'm not using a bag anymore. <laughs> So now on the back of the door, we have a designated area for accessories, so I just put our belts and some of my purses on here. And now, let's decorate. So I actually already own this rug, and I just love how perfectly it fit in this space. idea and I think it's absolutely hilarious. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Of course I had to add this adorable picture of Puka just to make me smile in the morning. is to add some finishing touches. I ended up adding quite a few giraffe decor pieces, so I thought this ottoman needed this adorable giraffe squishmallow. a whole day of hard work but I think it was totally worth it and I'm so excited to reveal it to you guys so let's go ahead and reveal it in three two one
for my closet makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so happy with how it turned out. If you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a like down below and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to click the notifications bell so that you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you all so much for your support on my first couple of YouTube videos. I'm so excited to be doing this and there's definitely more to come. I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye guys. In this video, 